Hey everyone, it's Melissa. Today I wanted to talk about uh, spring. Spring and summer. Spring is spring and summer here in the south are not my favorite times of the year. I like fall and winter much, much better. Uh, even especially if we get some snow, if we get some cold weather, I like cold weather. But spring comes to the south and summer and the heat come to the south and the mosquitoes and the tornadoes. So, um, you know, it's time to embrace it and accept it every year. Uh, I use spring as an opportunity, like a lot of people do, to do some spring cleaning. Uh, we have a screened in porch. I take all my, I usually wait till after, like, um, it's a little more toward later spring to, to wash my, my cushions. I wash all my cushions because we might get a lot of wind and rain and tornado type activity uh, in the early to mid, uh, mid spring. So uh, that is one thing I do. I do a lot of, you know, cleaning like that. We get our windows done all over the house. We, um, you know, just brighten things up. I, I check pillows and, on all the beds and, you know, just, just practical things like that. Uh, one thing we're doing, March is going to be an interesting month for us. Uh, the first thing is I wanted to mention because he may look a little different. I don't know yet. Uh, Doug is getting surgery on his nose. When he was a child, he broke his nose. I don't know if anybody has ever noticed. He broke his nose and he's got a real uh, you know, great big knot here on the left side where he broke it. He has always snored, but it has gotten much worse and worse, and to the point where it's keeping him awake even at night some, or he's not getting into a good sleep. So he went to the doctor, and the whole left side has just pretty much collapsed. He really can't breathe through it and everything, so it's time to get it fixed. Uh, it's going to be... Uh, I don't know whether to tell people or not. Um, hold your ears if you if things like this with your nose bother you. Hold your ears for about 30 seconds. I'm going to tell you what they're going to do. Uh, they are going to re-break his nose and just put a splint on it. They don't have to put all that stuffing, you know, that padding uh, up in there or anything like that anymore. And uh, so they feel like it will help with his snoring. It will definitely help with his breathing, uh, where he will be able to breathe through his nose now and be able like, to blow his nose. And, um, you know, he's just really kind of suffered with his nose. Now, we don't know yet with him, with them redoing his nose if it's going to change the way his nose looks, his appearance. So I think that's why I'm, at, uh, you know, he's on my videos sometimes. So I did want to mention it in case he, his nose looks different. I've always loved his nose. I thought, you know, the bump and everything was just very endearing. It made him really, really cute. But I'm sure he's, uh, you know, going to be even cuter now. But he's excited to get it done. He has uh, suffered from it. And um, it is not ever going to get better until he intervenes with surgery. So uh, I'll keep everybody posted on that. That's going to be happening uh, mid-month, around, um, around the 11th, I think. Uh, that's going to be happening. So, uh, also, later on toward the end of the month is Kristen, my friend Kristen's 321, her birthday, and I have a surprise planned for her, and I will take you, I cannot say, in case she watches, so I will take you along on that journey. I think she's going to really enjoy it and be very surprised. Uh, we are also uh, getting the, my background will change a little bit. We're taking this bed down and and I hate it. I'm going to save the bed. But the mattress and box springs are going to be used by my granddaughter for her bed. But uh, this bed will be coming down. Doug and I are getting a, a new bed for our bedroom. We're getting a king size. Uh, for some reason, as we've gotten older, I don't know if we've gotten bigger or what, but we are having trouble sleeping on a queen size together. And uh, so we're, we are going to get a king size. It comes in a few weeks. The mattress has already gotten here. So, I'm going to be taking the big four-poster, we have a great big canopy four-poster bed, uh, queen size. I'm taking this one down and moving this bed here because this is, this is a guest room, uh, a, a room that my grandchildren spend, spend the night in too. So, uh, they're going to be, it's going to be changed, this background, this bed is going to be a little bit different. So, that's the only reason I'm pointing out that we're getting a bed. <laughs> 
I never, I normally wouldn't have, you know, talked about that, but it will look a little bit different because we're taking our current bed and moving it into here. Boy, I, I, I make things more complicated, I think. Okay, so, uh, gotten that. Um, I use the spring as a, a time, I have a birthday in the spring, so I use that as a time to remember to go get a yearly checkup. I get all my blood work done. Um, they test for, you know, liver function and thyroid and, you know, just a lot of different things. I get my mammogram um, and uh, they do an ultrasound too. Uh, so I get that done and just uh, doctor's appointments that need to be done. I always do that in the spring around my birthday. That's always a good time to remember. You know, you should al always get your doctor recommended mammograms and your uh, blood work, you know, your examinations, whatever that your doctor thinks is best for you. So I, I do that once a year and I do it in the spring. Uh, another thing that I do is uh, in the spring is I look over if if I feel like we're through, pretty much through with our winter coats, because we do have early springs here. Uh, but I'll probably do it more in the late spring. I go, I look at our winter coats and make sure they're still in good shape. Uh, I will send them to the cleaners, have them cleaned and uh, stored. I will store them to be used again for next winter. And most importantly, check the condition of it. If I need to order a coat, a warm coat or gloves or anything for either one of us, then a lot of times when the season is changing or has changed, that's a good time to do it because you can get it on sale. Okay, those are the practical things that I do every spring. I just kind of wanted to point them out in case anybody needed to be reminded that it might be time to go for doctor's appointments or mammograms or do, do some things like that that, um, you know, that keep us healthy. Okay, so these are some practical things that I do. I think I did this video, I'm pretty sure I did this video with a lot of the same products next year, uh, last year. Uh, so if some of them are repeats, I apologize for that. But um, these are things that I always look at and always do in products that I make sure that I have for the springtime. Okay, the first thing is I will be showing more of my body uh, because it is very hot here in the South. In the summertime so my arms will be showing I always make sure that I have my Glytone exfoliating exfoliating body lotion I learned about the benefits um, from Dr. Cynthia Bailey from her website she's the one that first directed me to it and I will put put her uh, she's got a YouTube channel now and I'll put it down below but this helps so much with brown spots with you know I was a girl that laid out on rooftops back in the 60s and 70s so I got some sun damage especially on my arms and on my chest I use this it doesn't make them go away completely but it certainly dramatically helps it blend in with the rest of my skin I, I just love this I always make sure that I have it especially with summer coming up I get started now I use it all winter anyway but I always make sure that I don't skip a night uh, using this because it really really makes a difference in the you know the pigmentation in my arms and on my chest and on my legs too while I'm on the subject of legs I swear by I swear by and make sure that I have some fresh air. This is last year's. I will get rid of it. It's just a tiny bit left, but I always save it so I can get my right color and make sure to remind myself. This is the Sally Hansen Airbrush Legs. I wear a lot of dresses in the summertime. It's the coolest thing. Sleeveless dresses, it's the coolest thing to wear here. I don't always use self-tanner because self-tanner can be a little uneven on me. Um, so I will put on airbrush legs in the morning. I have uh, what I do is I have a box of disposable gloves. I will put on the disposable gloves, put on the airbrush legs, and then I just peel off the gloves, throw them away, and I don't have to worry about staining my my arms or getting it all over my hands and having to wash them and clean all that up. And then at night I will get in the shower and just wash it off my legs and uh, before I go to bed. And it's um, it's just really, I really, really like it a whole lot. And it just really evens out my skin and makes it look nice, nicer, makes my legs look nicer in the in my dresses that I, that I wear. So, got that. Another thing that I do is make sure I never skip doing my arm exercises because my the backs of my arms will be showing. Uh, I do 
with hand weights and I do this exercise right here holding them close to my body going up and down open up and down like that uh, and it works the back of your arms I do 50 of them every single morning like that now each I do them at the same time so always make sure that I keep my exercises up so my arms will not be you know have that uh, the bat wing thing that that we all get unfortunately uh, on my toenails my toenails will come out of boots <laughs> and be shown I have studied several times that embarrassingly I suffer if I'm not careful from getting a fungus on my toenails uh, the only thing that I have been able to use is the uh, Danny Pro D-A-N-I-P-R-O this is the red color I've got several different colors I've got the the base uh, coat of it it works wonders i had tried every kind of nail polish every type of treatment sprayed everything that i could think of on my toenails to prevent it it came back every single time i would use any kind of nail polish except for the danny pro um, i cannot speak highly enough if you suffer from reoccurring fungus that will come only come i never have it unless i put any other toenail polish any, any other nail polish on my toenails this is the only one that does not, that keeps the fungus away. And that's what it was made for. It was made to be used to help prevent and treat nail fungus. So just make sure I have to have that and, you know, check my colors, check, you know, the consistency of it, see if I need to replace any bottles. I love that stuff. I make sure I have a good supply of my my gloves, you know, my exfoliating gloves, I use it all over before I put on the Glytone. I use it all over my arms and my legs and my body and my chest. On my hands, I do something different. But I do this all over my body, which is my body wash. And, and Glytone does have, an, have a body wash, too. I have not tried it, but I have noticed that uh, Dr. Uh, Bailey sells it. So does Dermastore. Uh, both of them sell it. But... Uh, I have not tried it yet, but that might be something that actually might work with the Glytone even better. But uh, my exfoliating gloves, I use it on my feet, on my legs, on my arms, everywhere, all over my body. So, uh, swear by those. I'll, I get mine from the body shop and I order them. I replace them every month. Uh, they are $5. I usually, uh, about this time of year, will make sure that I have like a year's supply and I'll go ahead and order them in bulk. I'm going to be starting always, usually in the spring, kind of upping my skincare a little bit. I think the spring is a good time to do it because the heat hasn't set in and you're through, or hopefully through, with the very cold weather of winter time. So uh, what I will be doing is adding some more of my Clear, my Baju Clear. I'll be doing it for a, for a few months. I don't do it all, all year long because uh, you're supposed to take a break from it. So I will use it in the morning and at night this time of year for, for several months, until probably until summer comes, um, and add that to my skincare routine. It is a 4% hydroquinone, and um, I get it from my doctor's office. So uh, add the clear to my skincare routine. I like to make sure that my uh, foot file because of course my feet are going to be in sandals instead of boots it is called the diamond cell d-i-a-m-a-n-c-e-l diamond cell foot file uh it will last and last and last if you i've had i've had mine i've got several two of them and i've had them for years but uh, i always make sure that i start using it regularly this time of year uh, I use it every single day and then I wash it off. The trick is to wash it off with a little soap and water and it keeps it looking like brand new. And this one is a good seven years old. But it's just stayed in good shape because I take good care of it. So I will scrub it every night and then after I get out of the shower, I will use, this is another one that I just can't do without, the Mary Kay Extra Molly at Night Cream. It is a Vaseline filling type product. And so as soon as I get out of the shower, uh, while they're soft from the water, I then put this on and it just really kind of uh, sets the moisture into your skin. I love this. It reminds me of, I started using it in my 20s. I put it on uh, 
when I was pregnant at age 20, I started using it on my stomach for stretch marks. So that's what it reminds me of is being pregnant with my daughter every time I smell it. I like it. So those are the two things I do for my feet as well as the nail polish that I showed earlier. I was going to show you my razor, but everybody, everybody likes razor. Everybody knows which razor they like, so I won't show those. Okay. Uh, I always like to check my tees. I wear tees off the shoulder, scoop neck, wide neck, uh, just different types. I don't tend to wear a lot of, you know, deep V's, but I do have some V-neck t-shirts too because they're cute. In years past, I've always uh, worn the Patty Boutique, uh, kind of off the shoulder or wide shoulder uh, t-shirts. And I really like them. I've always really liked them a lot, but I'm kind of off of them now. I don't know why, but they're just not appealing to me anymore. So I found these on Amazon and um, it's still, you know, I've just get, gotten them out of the package. I've got a white one. I've got a, a, a green one in the other room that I had bought last year. So I got a white one and I got a burgundy one. They're still kind of, I just got them out of the package. So they're just, you know, I've got to wash them. Uh, and I've got a gray one coming, a dark gray one. But these are by the brand Saren Matthews, S-A-R-I-N Matthews. And I got them from Amazon. So I've got some, several different colors of these because I can wear them with jeans. I can wear them with skirts. I can wear them with summer pants. Uh, and speaking of jeans, I always this time of year like to look at my white jeans to see if they're in good shape, to see if I need to order another pair of white jeans. So I'll be doing that too. But I love these little shirts. I love these little t-shirts. They're the wide neck, off the shoulder, um, you know. I wear off the shoulder, but you can kind of do it up on the shoulder too if you want. Kind of a wide one. Uh, I wear off the shoulder and I wear uh, these type of, you know, like a wide neck to make my shoulders look a little wider. I've got very narrow shoulders. It seems to make them look a little wider, which, which I like. Kind of evens me out because I've got big hips. So I like to make my shoulders look a little wider to kind of even at my hips. Yeah, make me look a little more... Make me look, look a little more in proportion. So those are the two. Uh, these are the t-shirts that I have bought and ordered. And in April, I believe in April, I'm going to be doing some, showing some things that I have bought that maybe I'm mentioning today and kind of show them a little bit more and how I'm going to wear them. I'm going to be doing a springtime wardrobe thing with Natalie, the beauty diva, if we can work it out. We're, we're talking about it and planning on it. So that might be a lot of fun. And that's when I will show some of the things that I'm ordering and talking about today and buying, looking at my spring wardrobe. So my white jeans, I always look for white jeans. I look for tees to make sure they're okay. And Old Navy also, I always look for Old Navy because they've just got, you know, round neck, they've got wide neck, they've got V-neck tees. Uh, I always have good luck with them. And they have these nice fitted tees that, you know, are kind of uh, make your waist look nice and uh, nipped in. I always check my sandals. That's another thing to do. I get my sandals out. I see if there's any, I see what kind of shape they are in, if they need to be, some of them need to be ordered. I check my colors. I like to have maybe one color, one or two colors, like a red or a pop of orange or something like that. I like to have an off-white or a tan, that type of thing. And of course, black. Usually I usually uh, have two different styles of black sandals because they go with everything so much. I wear a lot of black skirts in the spring and summertime. It's very cooling. And I also love to wear in the summertime sheath dresses. And if you can't understand my accent, it's S-H-E-A-T-H, -H, sheath dresses. They're sleeveless. They're kind of semi-fitted to fitted um, and very, very, you know, bare legs, very, very cooling. Um, and I like to wear t-shirt dresses. I've always gotten my t-shirt dresses from Old Navy in the past. I just looked, they did not have very many yet. I don't know if they're gonna be getting some in, if they're just kind of clearing out their winter things, but I'll keep an eye out for that and we'll talk about that in, in the future. But I love to wear t-shirt dresses in the summertime here. It's the coolest thing to wear when, it, when, when we are in such a hot climate. Uh, and you know we have so much humidity down here too that it just keeps me cool. 
I can wear it to work, I can wear it around the house, I can wear it with tennis shoes, I can wear them with sandals, um, or I can wear them with, uh, with more heel type things. I can dress them up or dress them down, add different accessories to them, and they, they are really, really t-shirt dresses are really a staple for me in the summertime. I wear them a whole lot. So I'll be getting those out and looking at the condition of the ones I had from last year, seeing what I need to add to them, and taking a look especially at Old Navy. Those are the ones that I have bought the most are from Old Navy. Well, I had to come back in here because I forgot my favorite sunscreen. I love this sunscreen in the summertime because it's tinted. I get the warm tint. It's the Obagi Medical Sun Shield Broad Spectrum SPF 50 Sunscreen Lotion. Um, and it's tinted and I get the warm tint. It also comes in cool tint. I like the, I like the warm tint because it, uh, I don't know, it just blends in with my skin better. I think it has some golden undertones maybe. So it just blends in with my skin. I put it all over my chest and my arms and my neck and everything. And it just, I don't, I don't use it on my face. I'm real bad. I just haven't found that perfect sunscreen. I, I saw a video where someone mentioned a spray on sunscreen to spray on over your makeup and it sets your makeup and uses the sunscreen at the same time. I think I might try it. But um, when I'm going out, I tend to just, I have this stick sunscreen, and so I will take the stick sunscreen and put it all over my, my face it, and then just kind of blend it in with my makeup. So I do that, but uh, as far as putting one on underneath my makeup, I haven't found one that doesn't feel greasy or interfere yet, but um, I'm still working on it. So um, that was, this is my little insert to go with the rest of the video. So thanks for watching. So I think that that is it. I've got nightgowns down too. Uh, I always, I like to wear nightgowns in the summertime. It's the coolest thing for me because it, we, upstairs in our bedroom, it tends to get hot at night. Um, so I, I always wear sleeveless little nightgowns that I get from um, Target. I like the ones from Target the most. So I'll, I'll get those out and have a look at them and see if I need to order more of them because they, they, they have some really cute ones that look kind of like dresses. Um, and I, I really like those a lot because they, they, they feel a little bit nicer than just, you know, regular, regular old night gowns because they look, I don't know, they just look a little dressier. So those are some of the things I've got coming up to do for the month of March and early spring going into late spring here in Tennessee. I hope uh, everyone has a wonderful rest of the week and that things are warming up where you are. I appreciate you watching so much and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.